You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Here's a live look over Shasta County and Siskiyou County as well. A very wide look there where you can see Mount Shasta off in the distance. Hard to believe a lot of snow still up there. It's still up there and uh, Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff joins us now. We, we have had warmer temperatures, but obviously not as warm when you get to, to that elevation. Yeah, that elevation definitely cooler and despite all the clouds we've had outside, we're still warmer than average this afternoon and that was also helped in the valley by a lot of strong gusty wind moving right down the valley which kept those overnight lows. Look at that. 64 degrees is the low in Chico this morning. It was 66 in Red Bluff and we only fell to 68 degrees in Redding. That's 12 degrees warmer than it should be when we start the day. The higher elevations, 30s and 40s for overnight lows but the highs after that warm start were certainly above average. 93 was the high today in Redding. It was 94 in Red Bluff. 84, nice comfortable day for Paradise with some high clouds and 91 degrees at the Chico Airport today. So this afternoon we've had a lot of high clouds moving overhead. Now trying to get some showers and storms just to the north of Susanville. Certainly nothing as powerful as what we had over the weekend or, or, or late last week. We'll have better chances for additional showers and storms going forward. So by 11 o'clock tonight, more of those clouds pushing over head keeping us nice and mild along with another breeze. It's going to be another mild morning. There's a slight chance for some morning showers mostly over Modoc County, but they could extend all the way down into central and northeastern Shasta County. We'll have a brief break and then a better chance for showers and storms for our northeastern counties for Modoc and Lassen as well as Siskiyou and Shasta County. By this time tomorrow afternoon, we have a few showers and storms. Our earlier runs of this model that I was looking at had a big thunderstorm right between Redding and Red Bluff. Off. That has gone away, so maybe we'll get away from the having the really stormy weather, but there is a chance for some showers by tomorrow afternoon. That won't stay around very long, and then we'll have more sunshine for a better part of Wednesday with a little bit more of a breeze blowing down through the valley. But I want to show you the short-term precipitation. Earlier runs had Redding receiving over a half inch of rain. Now a little bit less than that, but still a chance for some showers tomorrow afternoon. Most of it's going to be over the higher elevations, though. And as far as the wind is concerned, we're going to have a few breezes here and there, but for the most part, not too windy for us in the valley. Some breezes moving right down through the valley and also closer to those showers and storms. We'll have a better chance for the active weather. However, coming up in our second half hour, we have other changes coming. I'm going to show you the long term precipitation chances, how much we can expect. We even have a chance for below average temperatures in the valley instead of having the highs in the lower to mid 90s. A better chance for some lower 80s a little bit later on in the forecast for the valley. So there's your forecast for tonight and tomorrow for northwestern California. It's going to be a slight chance for some showers and storms by tomorrow afternoon. Overnight lows in the 40s and lower 50s with highs mainly in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Also a slight chance for showers and storms tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. Better chance in the afternoon for the northeast. Lows fairly cool but still comfortable. 40s and lower 50s with highs from 73 in Alturas to 75 in Mineral. 80 degrees for Shingletown and 82 degrees for Quincy. For the Ridge, we'll also have lows tonight in the mild 50s and lower 60s. Highs feeling really good too, mainly 70s. Paradise eking out a high of 80 degrees with a slight chance for showers and storms, but they're more likely as you get closer to Cohasset as well as Butte Meadows, but not too much further south from there. And also for the valley, we'll have a lot of high clouds tonight, so the temperatures won't fall very far, staying mainly in the lower to mid 60s. Highs above average, but not as high as they have been for a couple of weeks, mainly mid to upper 80s tomorrow with that slight chance for showers and storms between Redding and Red Bluff. And for Glen and Butte counties, we'll have lows tonight in the 60s with a lot of high clouds and some breezes from the north. Highs mid to upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. Not a great chance for showers for Glen and Butte County yet. But we'll have a slight chance going forward, mainly on Friday, but don't cancel any plans. And look at those temperatures, much easier to take. 80s across the board with lows in the upper 50s and lower 60s. And for the Redding area, a little bit better chance for showers and storms most days, but again, it won't rain all day any of those days, and the temperatures will be very easy to take, averaging right around 85 degrees, which would be average for this time of year. A little bit warmer with more sunshine, though, by the end of the Memorial Day weekend. Thanks, Jason. Looks pretty